The Reflector app may be used with both the NetAlly performance and throughput apps to assess the network's ability to transport packets between two endpoints. This could be within a site, a campus, or between two remote locations. This is ideal for determining your end-to-end network bandwidth and the quality of packet transmission. It works well for validating service provider service level agreements. The Reflector app supports speeds up to 1 gigabit per second, full duplex. When transferring traffic, the app uses UDP port 3842. The Reflector app is compatible with the following NetAlly test equipment when used as a Reflector endpoint with the Performance app. The Etherscope NXG, the LinkRunner 10G, the Cyberscope CE, and the Cyberscope XRF. The Reflector app will also work with the following legacy testers as a Reflector endpoint. The OneTouch AT when used with the 1 gig wired performance test. The OneTouch 10G also when used with the 1G wired performance test. The OptiView XG throughput test up to 1 gig. And the OptiView XG performance test up to 1 gig as well. Reflection is supported on both copper and fiber interfaces. Being that the app reflects IP packets, it will work equally well with both switched and routed network paths. Now let's set up the Reflector app to act as a reflection endpoint for the Performance app. Before starting the Reflector app, we must first run an auto test to connect to the network. This will establish a link on the copper or fiber interface and obtain an IP address. Now that we have a link and an address, let's take a look at the settings within the Reflector app. First is Reflect. The best and safest selection is NetAlly packets if MAC matches. This will reflect UDP packets with a destination port of 3842 and only if the destination MAC address matches the MAC address of the LinkRunner AT. Again, this is the best and safest option to select. The other mode should only be used for specialized circumstances. All packets. Note, this is very dangerous and will cause a broadcast loop on the network. All packets except broadcasts. This will reflect all non-broadcast packets, even if not addressed, to the LinkRunner AT. If MAC matches. This will reflect any packet with a destination MAC address of the LinkRunner AT. All NetAlly packets. This will reflect UDP packets with a destination port of 3842. The next is Swap. The best selection is MAC and IP addresses. This will swap both the source and destination MAC and IP addresses. This setting is required when working with the performance and throughput apps. As with the Reflect setting, the following mode should only be used in very specialized circumstances. Nothing. This does not swap any of the addresses before transmitting the packet. MAC addresses. This only swaps the source and destination MAC addresses. It does not swap the source and destination IP addresses. Again, the safest and best settings to use are for Reflect, set to NetAlly packets if MAC matches. For Swap, set to MAC and IP addresses. Tap Start to begin listening for performance test packets. When configuring the performance test, be sure to select an endpoint of Reflector. Within the performance test configuration, enter the IP address shown on this screen. When configured properly, the bytes transmitted will increment when the test is running. Leaving the Reflector app will cause the app to stop reflecting packets. Thank you for watching this video on using the NetAlly Reflector app. Be sure to check out the other videos on how to get the most out of the apps on the NetAlly test equipment.